everyone today i have zombie chic <laughs> rochelle and venus oh, i've wanted these for so long there's a cool picture of them down there i actually saw these when i was on holiday in a shop called kerosene's toys and i never bought them and i've always regretted not buying them oh look it's got their names on the on the top as well rochelle Gwen and venus be yourself be unique be a monster it's the biggest dance of the year at Monster High and every girl on Mount Stop and MH can't wait to show up in their finest zombie shriek fashions for this creeperifically cool chance to show off their most uh, amazing movies. It will surely be a party rocking in the house to fright and every monster is going to have a ghoul time. Oh cool, party rocking in the house tonight. <laughs> Go to MonsterHigh.com to learn the dance moves for the zombie shake. I don't know if that's still on there. That's a cool picture of them. But yeah, I'm just going to pop these girls out the box and I'll be right back. Hi, they're out the box and they are so cool. I love them. Um, so they came with the black brush and they both came with a stand. How cool is that? Um, I'm just going to show you their book and then we'll go over the diary, uh, the dolls and everything. So here's their book. It says, editors note this written conversation was discovered while investigating an incident involved an outbreak of a strange zombie-like behaviour amongst the non-zombie student population at Monster High. So here we go. The next page over. I don't know how many pages. Ooh, sorry, dropped it on the floor. <laughs> so clumsy sometimes. Right, okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the second page. Well, it looks like it's actually got a lot of writing in it. I'll have to read this sometime. I haven't read it yet. Here's the next one. Wow. It's quite a good book. It's got like all this... Looks like the pages are like melted or something. And then there's the back of the book. Other. Is it all yellow on inside? Or is there other colours? I can't remember. I'm just like... Yeah. So yeah, and it's all like that on the front as well. It says Rochelle, Goyle and Venus McFlusher. So if you want to pause and read, you can. Um, okay, so now, uh, I think I'm going to do Venus first. So here's Venus. This is her bag she comes with. It's really cute. I think it looks the same as the one that the girls have got. Um, the one from Freaky Fusion. Uh, I can't remember her name. It's like Venus and Claudine. Claude Venus, yeah. I think she came with this purse. A similar version of it. So it's got like a little zip on the front. It's cute. I like the, the silver details on it. And here's Venus. She looks so cool. She's got all this... Her hair's all curly and to the side. And then she's got all these vines coming out of her head. Look. It's like... Kind of a bit like... Imagine a Julia. A little bit over there. Look how cool this is. It's like all translucent. In the shape of vines. It's like growing out of her head. And then her hair's got black in it as well. So she's got black, pink and green. And then she has a brain on her flocking. <laughs> How cool. Looks awesome. And then she has this earring, which we've seen before. But it wasn't translucent last time. It was um, solid colour. So she's got like a green vine earring. And then nothing this side. And then here's her makeup. She's got loads of green eyeshadow. And then all these vines. She's got a bit of a mark there. I'm not sure what that is, but... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> She's got, like, uh, vines all over her face, like uh, plant markings. She's got pink eyeshadow as well. And really dark black eyeliner. And then green lipstick with all her fangs. She looks really cool. And then she's got these translucent vines around her neck and her dress is really cool it's like oh, they're really shiny like a nice shiny material with this mesh all over the top and then it looks like teeth her belt looks like teeth and it's got like this plastic piece underneath I think it's so that nothing gets damaged and I think you can take it off if you want to and then here's the bottom of her dress it's really cool all these green Oh, look like teeth again. It's kind of uh, tatty, the uh, mesh. And then it's kind of tatty at the bottom as well. 
And then her arm, she's got these uh, vines again on her arms. It goes around to her hand. She's got like a uh, spiky bracelet as well. This side she's got a smaller vine. And her hands are like clawed. They're not normally like this. So she's got different hands to what she'd normally have. A bit like Howleen's hands. And then here's her shoes. So her shoes are cool. They've got like teeth on the back and they've got teeth on the front. Okay, they're cool, aren't they? And they've got vines coming out of them as usual. Oh, looks like it might have come out a little bit. Yeah, look, they come out from there and then go up her leg and they're translucent as well. Really cool. I like her shoes. Okay, so there's Venus. Oh, and here's Rochelle. So this is Rochelle's bag. So it's uh, got all these nice details on it. Kind of looks like stained glass. Pretty details. It's on the back as well. And then here's Rochelle. Rochelle's so cool. I think I like Rochelle the best. So, here is Rochelle. Rochelle has some crazy hair going on. It's like really curly. There's quite a bit of gel in it. It's like all over the place. <laughs> it's like, woo! And then, um, it's really cool. She's got like a little brain on there, which is actually very similar to Googly's brain over there. <laughs> but she has a brain on her head, and she has like this uh, headband. There it is. There it is there. And it's got like a mesh on it as well, and it's kind of sparkly, and I think that's why I like her, because she's quite sparkly looking. It's kind of tacked to her head. She's got a bit of black in her hair this time as well, same as Venus has. Her fringe is curled, and then she's got this cool um, purple eyeshadow, with a bit of grey, and then um, quite a lot of black eyeliner. She's got blue lipstick, which I really like, and then look at her face, she's got these cracks in her face. Looks like she's cracked because she's made of stone. And then, as always, her awesome gargoyle wings. Very cool. And then here's her dress. So she has a collar around the top, which is kind of um, shiny. And then she has all these bits coming off of it. These uh, uh, meshy bits coming off around it. And they're kind of sparkly in places as well. And then she has another crack on her arm, which is really cool. And her dress is really pretty, it's all sparkly. It's got like the mesh over the top, but it's so, um, kind of looks like stained glass underneath or crystals. It's just so cool. Like it goes up in the middle there, it goes out, and it's got like skeletons on it as well. And it looks all cracked. It's really cool. And then over the top, she's got this really sparkly um, mesh, which has got all glitter all over it. And then here's a. Um, She's got a belt as well with the plastic around it. It's got like these nice swirly patterns on it. And then she's got like this blue bracelet. It looks like it's got cracks in it as well. She also has the uh, clawed hands as well. It's this one, this bracelet as well. It's pretty similar to one, it might be like her original bracelet. I might have seen something similar before. It's cute. And then. She's got a crack on her leg as well. She's cracking all over. And then here's her shoes. Her shoes are black. And very similar to her purse. So she's got this piece around her ankle with a gargoyle on the back. Look how cool that is. And they've got all these uh, little stained glass windows around them. And then her heel looks really cool as well. It's really detailed. They've just got so much detail on these shoes, they're amazing. How cool are they? They may be just one solid colour, but they're very detailed. And then, yeah, so I love these dolls. I think they're both awesome. I'll put Venus that side, actually, because her hair's kind of <laughs> getting in the way. Um, I'm just going to get them to hold their bags, if I can. So, Rochelle, are you going to hold your bag for me? Get it over her hand. There we go. So she's holding her bag. This one might be a bit more difficult because it's smaller. Might be able to put it over her claws. There we go. They're both holding their bags. 
I really like them. Which one do you like the best? I think I like Rochelle. I like both of them though, but I just really like Rochelle's dress. It's really sparkly. I love anything sparkly. They're really pretty. I think they're cool. They're so detailed. They've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, it's funny because they've both got things that remind me of Gulia, which is about there, like I did yesterday. Venus has got the vines, which kind of remind me of her head crown, and then she's got the little brain, which reminds me of... But obviously, there is the zombie shake, so they are a little bit zombie. <laughs> but yeah, I really like them. I think they're cool. Um, I actually picked up a, a Gulia, um Original Gulia I ordered today. Um, I was very lucky to get her, but she doesn't come with um, everything she should. Um, and I think that's why I got her for such a good price. So basically the one I've ordered has just got her top and her under top. So she's got the long sleeve top, the little top that goes over the top. I don't know if they're in one piece or if they're separate and she's got her trousers. She looks like she's in good condition, like her hair and everything's all right. She just needs a bit of a wash. Um, but she doesn't have like her shoes or any of her accessories. So um, the girls have kindly given me a pair of Gulia glasses. They're slightly broken, but um, they um, they should be okay for her to wear. You shouldn't be able to notice it. And they've given me like a headband, which was from the Science Gulia, because they said they never use them anyway. They don't really use all their accessories, and usually the girls' glasses, if they have doll glasses, they usually end up getting broken, so... They said I can have them, but she's really, really kind of them. And then I'm just going to rustle up a pair of shoes for for the uh, Gulia to wear. I'll probably try and get her accessories at some point if I see them cheap. But if not, it's still nice to have her, even if she's not got everything. And I think I've got a spare pair of earrings, which were Draculauras. They've got like skeletons on them. I'll probably put them in, on Gulia, and then I'll probably um, those Laguna shoes. I've got a pair of Laguna shoes, they're like uh, clear jelly type shoes that are blue, so I'll probably put them on Gulia as well, so at least she's got a pair of shoes, and then I'll just try and, like I said, try and pick up her accessories when I can, but yeah, so um, I'm really happy that I managed to find her, it's just a shame that she hasn't got everything, but she was she was cheap, so I can't complain, so yeah, she'll come sometime soon, um, and I'll fix her up, but yeah, she won't look quite how she should, I'll still review her, but she won't be quite an original Gulia because she doesn't, she's missing a lot of stuff. <laughs> but if I do manage to find the bits, you know, as I, um, when I've had her a while, if I do manage to get all the bits for her, I will review her again if I do manage to get everything. So yeah, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. But let me know what you think of these two. Like I said, I think they're awesome. I really like both of them. I think they're really cool. I do like uh, Rochelle slightly better, but I like both of them. I think Venus is really cool as well. Um, and I like the diary. I'm, I'm going to have to read that sometime when I get a chance. Yeah, let me know which one of these you like the best out of the zombie shake. Um, I don't know why I like... I don't know, I like Venus's colours though. I think she's going to look cool on display because... Oh, her stand's a bit wobbly. See that? It don't matter, I've got hundreds of stands, but she has got a bit of a wobbly stand. <laughs> I don't like it when they're like that, it's really annoying. Yeah, at least they come with stands though, that's always good. They don't really come with stands now in the reboot, do they? Which is irritating. So yeah, let me know what you think, and comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!